That one's not in again. I'm not doing it a third time. Oh my God, Alex. I'm not doing too good. Let's look how far down this is. You can see all of the little burr holes that they made to get in there. Over the last few weeks, we've made incredible progress on the shipping container house. From running the pool lines to insulating them and the walls, we've built the wraparound cedar deck. Last week, we finally got started on cladding the staircase tower. So the scaffolding we had was a little too sketchy to get all the way to the top of the 34-foot tower. So we opted to go with engineered tube and clamp style scaffolding equipped with a staircase so we can easily get material up and down safely. It's going to make this job so much easier, but let's get over and get to work. Yeah, the gap is um, a little nerve wracking. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys. Like, look at how high up we are. So I'm cruising right along with this. Basically what I've been doing is attaching all of these corner pieces. So in order for the siding to look really nice, there's these corner pieces that it looks like real stone. So they just clip onto each one of these, but this has to be done before all of the siding can go on. So while Dumpy and Todd are figuring out that corner piece, I'm just gonna continue up. And now that I've got these two sides done, I have to go up to the upper level, which is like 35 feet in the air. You bringing up more pieces? Yeah. You're going up? Third floor, siding deliveries. I can't imagine not doing this with like real, actual scaffolding. This is a very good decision. Just look how far down this is. Isn't that wild? All right, all I had to do is this last corner here, right up to the roof, and then we're done with the corners. So let's do it. I've seen all the signs and they're all pointing right to home. Corners are officially done. <gasps> oh, wait. <laughs> No, they're not done. Look, that's technically the tower. Are we going out on the roof? You should have seen me hobble over there to set up the camera, all for nothing. We are officially out of the 3M tape and you can see all the spots there that I need to put 3M on before I can put all of the corner pieces on and then eventually the siding. So I'm gonna have to run to the hardware store to make sure that we have it. It's, it's one of those things, it really needs to be done right because I don't wanna be back up here ever to replace the siding or deal with water issues, so it's the right call. All right, I'm gonna run to the store. And by run, I mean slowly crawl across the roof. Could you? It doesn't have to be right now, but... Okay. We can't really go a whole lot further on this side until the 3M comes. Yeah. That's where we're at. We can't even put the board up in the side until it's here. But that's okay. We got siding we can do. I'll take some of them pieces that are taller. So I popped down here for a quick sec, hoping that I could sneak a little peek of how the siding is coming together. But this scaffolding is honestly just so massive that you really can't see much. You know, like Christmas morning, I gotta wait to see what the surprise is, but I think it's gonna be worth it. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm also just so happy with the scaffolding. The stairs definitely make such a big difference. It's so much easier getting product up and down and just a lot safer. So anyway, I'm gonna pop back up there and keep going. Is that one not in? This one's not in. Who did that last one? You. I didn't do that one. Oh, well, you know what? When you look at that, Peter, yeah. he, he didn't touch him, did he? No, I, I don't believe he did. Sounds like we all might be fired. Thank God the foreman's not on site today. Thank you. Thanks. I'm wondering, should I start with a 3M here? Like where we're getting kind of close to it, do you think? Yeah. You ready to f this up? Yep. We're almost there. And then we gotta do around the other side. What side? Around the window. It didn't get done? All along the sill, it didn't. I feel like those men on the skyscraper in New York City, you know that? Oh, the eye beam. Yeah. To me, you don't know. Do you think we can lay on our stomachs and get this from here? Like, cause it's only one or two down there. We can try. That one's not in again. How is it not in? The only way you're gonna get that is to take it back off again. Easier to do it now than after she's all on there. Welcome to carpentry. That's good? Yeah. Do you wanna double check that it's clicked in? Is that one in? That there. Just looks like it's I out. I know. Good eye. It's like, I'm not doing it a third time. <laughs> 
this is an annoying one to try and do. Pass me your hammer, Todd. I can do it up here. Oh, wow. They're big, hey? Yeah, Nancy did good. Good job, girl. Do you think we could eat them? How is oh. it? Oh my God. It's good? So good. Can I try? No, you taste like candy. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Nancy. Nancy did good. Charlie, do you want some? Do you want to bite of Nancy's babies? Oh, look how good they sit. Such good sitters. There. Wow, that's exciting. This is really good. Really good. Can I have another bite? Mm-hmm. We weren't expecting to get this many. Mm-mm. Well, if you remember a few months ago, Nancy, the nectarine tree, she was um having Nectar some warts. warts. Yeah. But she's still a little a little warty, but the birds took the two cherries mm -hmm. and the apple. The apple's gone. Wow. Oh my god, maybe it really is transparent. <laughs> it's called yellow transparent. But yeah, everything else, we didn't really get any fruit this year. No. Just each other. <laughs> You're gonna continue with your weeding? Yeah. That's what Todd's been working on this evening. We've just been having a chill night. Yeah. Were you eating grass? Are you helping me with the weeding? Are you eating grass, hey? We noticed the first couple red leaves earlier today, so this is definitely how we're gonna be spending the next few evenings, soaking all the little bits of summer up. Oh, that's a big one, isn't it? And he just lays in here and eats them. Oh, Charlie wants one, hey. Hey, do you want a big, you want a big stick? You guys fight after it, eh? Hmm? Oh. Here's one, Eddie. I'll oh, that's a good one. That's a juicy one, hey buddy. They love sticks, just yeah. chewing on them. How you doing? Good. I think I got all the weeds done. Yeah, I was just telling them about those red leaves there. I know. It's crazy, eh? It's hard to believe, but. It is that time. Yeah. Almost it's time for pumpkin spice. Yeah, I actually am really looking forward to fall too. I think it'll be, I think it's gonna be a beautiful, beautiful year. Yeah, and then you know what happens after fall comes Christmas. We're decorating early for Christmas this year. As November 1st. November 1st, we're at least putting up one tree. <laughs> what do you think of that, Charlie? Is November 1st too early? Not at all, hey buddy. Got some chips on my ass, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Brighter. I want to burn a little bit brighter. I want to stand a little bit taller. Little peaked around that side? No. Not fully. I won't look back, no, I'll stare down the sun. I'm gonna stand my ground to the good day. Look at that. Oh, one's out. One's out. Who did that? Roll the footage. Ah, oh, you know what I gotta do. Looks really good. Getting there. She's getting there. So we just finished putting on the four corner pieces at the very top of the tower and I just, I had to run down here and see it from over in the courtyard. It's so beautiful and it's just really cool to see it because I'm not sure if you guys realize but it's been two years since the containers were lifted into place and all the issues that have arose from that but to be moving on and just about finish the envelope of the house, it's honestly such a huge milestone and it's beautiful. <laughs> I love the way that the stone contrasts the wood, which contrasts the black. It's just, it's everything we wanted it to be and to see it starting to come to fruition, like just very, very happy. So we just got all situated for the evening. Todd's making some dinner. It smells so good, by the way. I'm starving. I'm doing um, honey garlic meatballs, but I'm cheating. I'm just using a bottle. Whatever. That's, you know what? Sometimes the bottle's better. 
Anyway, I was really looking forward to this evening. We're gonna watch a movie, just like chill after a busy day, and just got the most annoying text message. We've used all of our data for the month. So we've been using Starlink for a while, and in the summer, it just does not work here at all. The leaves completely block Starlink signal, so we only have the data on our phones. Annoyingly, our provider, it, they don't allow us to add more data. I got thinking about how when we were traveling a few months ago in Dominican, before we even left, we downloaded Airlo, so we made sure that we would be connected to the internet once we landed. If you're not familiar with Airlo, they are the sponsor of this week's video, so shout out to them, but it's an eSIM. So they've basically removed the need for those little physical SIM cards that we all have in our phone. You can just go to the website, choose which country, you're traveling to, pick a plan, activate it. It is literally so simple. It's really cool. Yeah, I love it. It makes it so like when you land, you're not, you know, trying to connect to the Wi-Fi in the airport or your first trip in the cab is to a store to try and find a physical SIM. It's such a no brainer. But anyway, back to my story. So what I realized was like, wait, if I'm out of data and I'm in Canada, why don't I just load an eSIM for Canada? Sure enough, and by the way, this is so fitting, it's called Took Mobile, which I think is just hilarious, but there are so many different options. I'm gonna go with the two gig plan. That's more than enough for us to watch some movies on Netflix over the next couple days. In literally 30 seconds and a few simple steps, we're back and connected to the internet. Airlo is trusted by over 10 million travelers all around the world. And apparently two guys in the woods that ran out of data. <laughs> It is totally worth it. Make sure you scan this QR code or click the link in the description box down below. By doing so and using the code Tyler and Todd, you'll get $3 off your first plan. Make sure you check it out. But we're going to load a movie and relax, enjoy the rest of our evening. We'll see you in the morning. Shots up quick on the five more minutes till we get it started. Good morning. So today what we are doing is finally finishing the exterior, hopefully. I mean, if you've been watching the channel for any We're gonna give her a go. Yeah, we're gonna give it a go. We really do wanna get rid of this scaffolding though. Obviously, it's not super cheap to have this set up per day. I think it's like 24 bucks a day, which I guess doesn't sound too bad, but like every day, yeah. it builds up pretty quick. Exactly, and it's only a matter of time till I fall off of it. No, it's pretty. It's actually pretty stable. We wouldn't have been able to do this job without it. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad we made this decision, but we do need to have it set up so we can do this space in between the cantilevered shipping container on top and then our newly cladded tower. There's a bit of um, metal siding that needs done there as well as at the top. So we're just gonna crush it. The other reason we need the scaffolding is to get the gutters all the way at the top of the tower to deal with all the rain and snow melt. Yeah. They need something safe to do that work as well, so. I forgot about that. Yeah, that'll be good. That's why I'm on top of it. Mm. Want to pass me up one of them pieces of your phone? Yeah. Pieces of this one. Yeah. Oh, Jay? Yeah. 31 and an eighth or 31 and a quarter? I can do in between an eighth and a quarter, whatever that is. That's 30. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first cut of the day. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right. Howdy. Coming to take care of the uh, ants. Oh, ants. Right. I forgot that was today. <laughs> um, do you want me to show you kind of where? Yeah, sure. When we were over building the pool hut, we heard some squeaking and got down on our hands and knees and started listening to the spray foam. So spray foam is supposed to be completely, you know, rodent and pest proof. That's what the salespeople told us. Mm hmm Well, we've come to find out that underneath of the shipping container, the spray foam was actually installed incorrectly, which really, really sucks. More on that later. We're hopefully gonna be getting another company in to correct the mistakes. But what ended up happening, because the spray foam did not adhere properly underneath, it left a really small gap, which allowed ants to go in between the wood and the spray foam and start burrowing into it. So we started hitting it with a shovel. We started picking at it with like all the ice tools, pick. Yeah, ice pick, anything that we could find to get all of that spray foam off. And sure enough, you can see all of the little burr holes that they made to get in there, which... We even found the nursery where all the eggs were. Yeah, it was it was pretty, um, pretty spooky stuff. So 
We've got an ant company here and they're gonna spray that section, but they're also gonna put a perimeter all underneath the container. And what that's gonna do is any of the carpenter ants that try and come in, that's hopefully gonna stop them. We need to be realistic, right? Like we are in the middle of the woods. There's carpenter ants literally everywhere. Their whole job is to decompose trees that have fallen, but we don't want them to decompose the house or the wood portions of the house anyway. That's, that'd be nice. Yeah, but it's another reason that we did go with cedar. So cedar cedar for the deck is pest proof itself like they don't like the taste of it so with how much metal we have in the house and the cedar deck I think we should be pretty good as like a natural perimeter that's what we're telling ourselves anyway yeah but we got the experts here gonna take care of the weak spots and then I guess it's just a maintenance thing we got to keep on down the road yeah that's okay that's always something you guys always something there. That's neat. All done. That's all. perfect. Awesome. All right. Thank you so Go much. No problem. Thanks. Have a good one. I mean, he did all the ant stuff and dumped. We got three pieces of siding in. <laughs> yeah, and this is still not done. I don't want to lock in. There, you can cut a new one. Okay. Make it exactly the same here. But longer on that side. Longer, but three eighths of an inch longer on this side. Okay. Make it five and uh, three eighths. Five and three eighths. Yeah. That's a lot different than four and seven eighths. Yes, but a half an inch different. You sure? Make, make it uh, seven sixteenths. Uh, what's the? I gotta what? see the pattern. What? <clears throat> He's just throwing numbers out. So what? am I five and fifteen thirty seconds? Seven sixteenths. I'm gonna vote seven. Five and seven or four and seven sixteenths. Five. Guaranteed to fit. If not, your money back. <clears throat> Do you want more cut at that size, Dumpy? Yes. Batteries did. Of course it is. <laughs> Sucks too, you're doing all this work to make it work and then it's uh, gonna be hidden by a gutter. Imagine doing the whole tower, how long that would have been. With metal siding, we'd still be going. Yeah, it would have been crazy. Probably still be looking for somebody to do it. <laughs> Black metal across it all. Luckily, after this, it's just triangles. <laughs> Can you jump up on the top tie and try and look down sure. through here? I can't really see. This is the level so thick to get in that corner. Yeah, I'm at the same line twice. Take that out. Do you need help? Yeah, you need help. All jokes today, aren't you? While you get that level there, check the pitch of that other roof. You know how to do that? No, I was going to say it's still sloped. <laughs> We were pretty quiet there, weren't we? Doing some quick math on your phone? Yeah, trying to find the fraction. Three eighths. You were right, Dumpy. First for everything. I don't know why you question it. I don't know. One of these days I'll learn, I guess. Yeah. Got a little workbench up here. Looks good, though. It does. Sure, yeah, it's not coming down. The angle grinder is just chewing through these blades. I can't get over the difference from when we did the north and the west wall to this section. It kind of makes sense. Those areas were just really long, straight runs where this, it's so many different angles and we have to cut each piece, not once, not twice, sometimes three different ways, which makes it pretty tricky because if we end up messing up on the third cut, then the first two cuts were for nothing. We had to throw the piece away and start over again. It's just really time consuming, but we've got this big box of blades, so I'm just gonna open up some more and we're gonna keep going. Slow and steady, as they say, right? What's the marks I got up there? 48 and three quarters? Uh, 48 and three quarters, yeah. And there's another one there, 30, 36 and... Three quarters, maybe, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's a problem right there. Do you see it? Right there. Yeah. God, it's so finicky. It's shit. Mac Metal, if you're listening, figure your product out before you start selling it. Uh, 
I'm sure it's gonna be just perfect. Oh, 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 <laughs> pretty banged up. Oh, hard time getting that open. <sighs> and my knife is missing, so I had to go find this one. It's not as good as my other knife. How many pieces are you bringing up? Just two, that's all we need. Oh, I guess we still need a few pieces along here. My whole life's just a million different types of maybe. Oh my God, man, I think sometimes I'm going crazy. That's the last piece. That's it. And that is a wrap on siding. That was honestly so much work over the last couple of days. Such a huge milestone that at points over the last couple of years, I never thought we were gonna reach. So yeah, this, feeling very accomplished. This summer, it's just, it's been such a blur. It's hard to believe that we're at the end of August. Our goal <laughs> was to have as much of the exterior done by the end of summer. And I'm feeling pretty good about it. I wish that the scaffolding wasn't there so we could have like the reveal of the tower, but we have to leave it up for a really, really important reason. Yeah, we've got two more tasks that need to be crossed off the old to-do list. One of them is on us, one of them is on trades, but either way, they all kick off tomorrow. Yeah, that which... was that was par partially why, like the last few days, like we had to get it done. Like, and we're there, so. Exactly, but for now, we're just gonna relax, kick our feet up for the night, and we will see you next Sunday.